everybody, I'm Noah from Midwestern Marks, and welcome to One Minute Marks. I hope you got a minute because I want to talk about another concept from Marxism today that we see a ton of misconceptions about. So let's talk about class. There are two big misconceptions about class, and it can work sort of in layers. When you start learning about society and socialism and all that, you realize pretty quickly that the big misconception isn't nearly enough to understand things, and then you go on to the next. Unfortunately, that next level still isn't enough, but a lot of us can get tripped up on it, especially when we're just beginning our Marxist education. So what are these misconceptions? The first one, the, the big one, is common all over capitalist society. Basically, the class is defined by how much money an individual makes. If you make a whole bunch of money, you're upper class, right? Then if you make slightly less, you're upper middle class. Then down the line with middle class, lower middle class, etc. They use working class too sometimes, but the whole thing is out of whack by that point, and adding that just doesn't really fit. Also, as a general rule, concepts within Marxism aren't describing individuals. Instead, they describe general phenomenon within society, and class is no different. Usually, we hear this particular misconception in the mainstream media. Old cable news shows, for example, define class by income level all the time. For this misconception, it begins at the level of the individual, rather than Marxism's beginning at the level of society and observation. Once we begin looking into Marxism, we see pretty quickly that this isn't how we really address the issue, or any issue. As we learn, we begin to understand that class has something to do with production and where people are in relation to it. We begin to try to use a more collective premise as well. This is closer, but it's very important to remember that class isn't defined only by ownership. And that's the second big misconception. It's a mistake of what we call vulgar materialism or empiricism. It also takes the individual as its premise on a deeper level, but that's a little too much for this video. We can get into that another time. Like everything in Marxism, class is a material phenomenon within society that contains relationships. This one is based on what we call the relations of production which Marxism teaches us is the primary factor in how society itself is reproduced, how our way of life is created and sustained. When capitalism began to arise in the old feudal era, or in the colonial era in the American context, to quote Marx himself, it turned all that is solid into air, throwing all of the old relations of production which creates the way of life for the masses, into disarray, right? What was solid, the peasant's relationship to the land and how value in society was produced and reproduced, became an abstract. The peasant was proletarianized. And all of the things that were concrete in society, that were stable, became abstract to him because he was no longer attached to the land in such an intimate way, and no longer possessed much but the means to do work anymore. He sold this to those of another class, the bourgeoisie, who owned the means with which to turn that labor into capital, in order to create more wealth, to turn that labor into capital, to create more wealth, to turn that... You get the picture, right? Anyway, each part of this is a class. It is one part of the contradiction that opposes the other. These relations to production and to the opposing classes begin to form communities. And the historical, uh, concrete experience of these communities give the class its form and reality, which changes and moves over time following how production is carried out, which in turn reproduces society its way of life. It is these relations that we refer to when we speak of class in Marxism. These relations happen before we even get jobs, before we do anything, really. 
even before we think. They are what shape and create us. And they create how we think, how we see things. They create what we often refer to as social consciousness. From there, it takes a lot of work to become class conscious. Learning Marxism, this teaches us what class is and takes us from being a class of itself to having the ability to organize and become a class for itself. And that wraps it up. That's it. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions. I know this goes a lot deeper than we're taught at first. As always, thank you so much for watching. See you next time.